welcome dear students while i admit uh, the student to join this session those who have joined may watch a video here giving a brief about the story good morning sir good morning sir good morning sir we are going to study the story madam rides the bus written by vallikanan let us talk a little about the writer before delving into the story the tamil writer journalist critic and translator rs krishnasamy used the pseudonym vallikanan in 1978 He received the Sahitya Academy Award for his critical work called The Birth and Growth of Modern Tamil Poetry. He died in 2006. We shall now begin with the story. Right at the beginning, we are introduced to the 8-year-old girl, Valya Mai or Vali. She is the central character of today's story. Vali is a loner who prefers observing the street from a front door. rather than playing with the children of her age among all the things she observes she is particularly interested in a bus the bus travels between her village and the town she is envious of her friends who get to ride the bus and visit the town she desperately longs for a chance to do the same often one of her friends would ride the bus and describe the sights of the town to the other girls valli and her friends would taunt her and call her proud neither valli nor her friends understand what proud means and use it as a slang from this little interaction we learn how certain foreign words infiltrate the vocabulary of local or rural people with changed meanings Just as many villagers wish to get a taste of city life, they also aspire for an English education. Let us come back to the story. Vali gathers information about the town by listening to the passengers who travel by the bus. She learns that the bus takes 45 minutes to reach the city and the fare for one way is 30 paisa. It is difficult for her to afford both way rides. but she does not give up hope she plans calculates and recalculates one spring afternoon she finally manages to board the bus the good humored bus conductor chokes at her precautiousness he addresses her as madam and incites laughter from the passengers valli soon gets busy admiring the interiors of the bus and the scenery outside She has to stand on her seat to peer outside. A concerned passenger asks her to sit down, afraid she would hurt herself. She retorts that she is not a child because she has paid the fare like the adults. Next, an elderly woman notices her travelling alone and expresses her concern. Valli judges the woman by her unattractive appearance. and behaves badly with her the author then describes how painstakingly valli has managed to save money for her trip she has resisted the temptations of buying peppermints toys balloons or riding the merry go round at the village fair to escape notice she has planned the trip round the time when her mother naps in the afternoon all this indicates the intensity of her desire to visit the town next we see valli's first experience of a moving bus the thrill of her first ride is expressed in how she observes the motion of the bus the bus rolled on now cutting across the bare landscape now rushing through a tiny hamlet or past an odd wayside shop sometimes the bus seemed on the point of gobbling up another vehicle that was coming towards them or a pedestrian crossing the road suddenly the bus encounters a disturbed cow running wildly in the middle of the road being too young the girl fails to understand the cow's pain and laughs uncontrollably 
at the funny side. The bus finally moves into the town. It is Vali's first sight of the town. Vali is filled with wonder at the abundance of glittering merchandise and people. The conductor offers to buy Vali a cold drink, noticing her reluctance to explore the place. She refuses the drink as she has no money to pay for it. Thus, little Vali proves her integrity. On the way back home, she is just as interested in the sights outside as before. However, soon she has her first encounter with death which greatly dampens her spirits. The cow which had been galloping on the road has met with an accident. It now lies dead on the road. The ghastly sight fills her with terror and she loses her interest in the scenery outside. She probably also realizes that her thoughtless laughter at the animal's plight on the up journey had been insensitive. She, however, regains her spirits by the time she reaches back to her village in the afternoon. She bids a friendly goodbye to the conductor who invites her for another ride whenever she wishes. Back home, she overhears her mother's conversation with an aunt. The words spoken by her mother are symbolic in the sense that Valli can connect it with her recent adventure. Her mother says, it is not possible to know everything that happens around us. Moreover, knowledge alone does not guarantee understanding. Valli smiles at the knowledge that her mother will never discover her secret. With that, we come to the end of our video lesson. Hope you like the story of Little Valli. See you soon in our next video. Yes, sir. Very yes, sir. Good. It was literally different way, but was more interesting and I uh, was covering everything that we are done and uh, that we are also going to learn today, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So while I'm scrolling down to where we had uh, you know, paused yesterday, I would like to ask you the same question that I had asked yesterday. Something, you know, a figure of speech that is used when we are conveying some sad news or bad news to someone in a little easier way, in, a, in some soft words. What is that figure of speech called? So, euphemism. Yeah, very good. Right? Everyone, do you remember euphemism? One of the figures of speech we learned in class 9. No, yes, sir. Remember. remember, sir. Many examples I have given. The interesting one, if you remember. Anyway, we will see some more figures of speech from the board examination point of view. Even if there may be or may not be any figures of speech asked, but better we should have knowledge, right? In this examination, also one of the figures of speech was asked in the context of the stanza that was given there. What was it? Do you remember? Yes or no? No, sir. No? I think you, you, you might not attempt that part of question because one or one was alternative to another, no? But it was alliteration because the sound of yes was repeated in a complete line from that stanza, right? Yes, sir. I attempted another one. Very good. But it was euphemism. Yes, other sir, students it was might from Amanda. Yes, it is alliteration and it was a euphemism that I had asked you yesterday. One more thing yesterday we discussed and uh, we had seen an image also about six and nine. Here is someone wants to say something. Yes? All right, we'll continue. Uh, so it was. Six and nine, you remember the image about the perception or the perspective of, of, of the people who are Yes, sir. Right. So, in addition to that, one instance I had given you, but I would like to show you from here one image, giving you the details. A little story, you know. You can see the picture here. The man doesn't know that there is a snake underneath, and the woman doesn't know 
that there is a stone placing on the mat and see how the difficulties and how the misunderstanding that they take place that woman thinks that why can't the man use a little more strength and pull me and also the man thinks that why doesn't the woman you know tries to come up little more and help him right so what is the moral here this is you can see you can't see the pressure the other party is under and the other party can't see pain you are in this is life no matter whether it is the work family feeling brain family we should try to understand each other learn to think differently think of each other and communicate better so that's what there the communication between that old man and wally took place and so we found her little that she was being rude and the man was also speaking her in different way the same words i read in two different ways and you could understood you could understand the difference right yes sir. so we continue from here that this 8 years old girl she says that she is not a child right and that conductor finally agreed yes it's my mistake no i don't know you are 8 years old and then the next stop come some more people the passengers get on some of them get down and conductor got busy for a time what was he busy for a time dear students what was he busy in sir the other passengers came into the bus yes collecting money and giving them the tickets tickets so here one more thing i would like to say just not about the journey by train or by bus you definitely ask for the ticket but whenever you go in the market you please ask for a receipt you know it saves and it is your contribution in nation building that those people who do not provide the receipts they just try to save themselves from the government taxes right so you please ask for the receipts and especially it is just not about the government or the taxes but it is for your sake also if you are going for uh, you know fuel or especially the medicine you please ask for the receipt right there are number of reasons we may not go discuss everything here any member you got it as well you know ask yes. for the ticket hey you you don't just call me a madam and all that is okay i am not madam but you firstly give me my ticket that you have not yet given me even if i have given you money right so the similar way these many things you should understand fine then what happened like see the bus stop some new passengers got on and the conductor got busy for a time after all afraid of losing her seat well he finally sat down and yes especially in our country it happens that if we are just standing a little away from our seat one comes and sits and then the fight takes place and so well he understood it that some people are trying to climb up trying to get onto the bus and then they sit in her place so better she sat down. then an elderly woman came and sat beside her are you all alone here she asked wally as the bus started again wally found the woman absolutely repulsive such big holes she had in her ear lobes and such ugly earrings in them and she could smell the bitter nut the woman was chewing and see the bitter juice that was threatening to spill over her lips to any moment who who could be sociable with such a person and you know you can now just imagine you are, there is a little girl and there comes a old woman and sits with her giving some you know bitter nuts you know bitter nuts you know especially those old men and women they like it very much and they just go on giving it and that lady also with some big holes in her ear and such big earrings so ugly according to the girl because it was old generation that time those women in their childhood also were wearing the, those kinds of earrings but today women don't prefer to wear anything no necklace nothing they want just before uh, 20 30 years they were very much fond of you know the jewelry like you have studied in the necklace 
he borrowed it and how he lost and how much he paid for that you know the story well but here this lady being old in addition to very ugly looking according to the little girl or just about to spill over her lips with that juice of beetle nut and so she says oh who could be sociable with such a person and yes it happens if you know it is after all a village and those people they have just work and they don't even look after themselves and they don't want to even waste their time in cleaning their hands and their feet and mouth and all they simply spit here and there it happens because they are not much aware but this corona has really taught good lessons to all the people across the world about the hygiene the care the person should take you know otherwise we were just following blindly some modern culture in the name of right so today corona has really taught many lessons to the human beings about the existence and the importance of hygiene cleanliness even if the educated people were knowing but today compulsorily everybody wants everybody has to follow this all you know rules social distancing i'm sure you must be following then wearing mask right and also yes sir washing the hands every now and then good yes i am traveling alone you know in other countries especially in foreign countries they simply just shake their hands so it has been stopped now to namaskar namaste then there there is no word for you know uh, if i just eat something what is it called in marathi uste there is one word in english also left over but it means somebody has eaten and that left part is there but people in foreign countries they share with one another whatever i have had just for example an apple i got a bite and i just gave it to someone else even you have seen how the people share the cake with one another now will it be continued dear students do you think or it will be stopped it was never allowed in our country but it was the culture from other countries and of course it must be stopped and must be stopped in future also right because we know now how it happens that such epidemics can be spread easily with touch from one person to another and also through the way the people speak and come together one another right so what happened then this lady a old woman from a village was really you know like you remember the little girl from class 9 how she found her own father as a giant right and she was very much afraid of him but this little girl as that woman sat next to her she felt really very awkward and so ugly face she was thinking that lady had the woman had then what conversation took place between them let's see yes i am traveling alone she answered curtly and i have got a ticket too and you know there she is the lady asked what did she ask she spoke well no doubt these are the words you can see are you all alone here right and then only answered yes i am traveling alone and i have a ticket too and you know she spoke very curtly means showing displeasure she was not happy being with that old woman then yes she is on her way to town said the conductor and now again the conductor got time to speak that she is on her way to town and she is alone with a 30 paise ticket and she has really bought a ticket also worth rupees 30 paise oh why don't you mind your own business and well at all did not like that the conductor should speak in between all the time and so this time also she got angry with him and ordered showed her displeasure about the conductor that why don't you mind your own business you have your business you do your work that give them the tickets collect the money don't interrupt us in between all the time not similarly the way but after all she is a child but trying to be like an adult and speaking so but she laughed all the same and the conductor laughed too but this time her tone of speaking is little humorous 
is not as angry as he was before because you know the conductor had laughed all other members those passengers they had also agreed that it was a humor there and it was not at all an anger and so here while speaking only you know this valli said that oh why don't you mind your own business even one important thing dear students i want to bring in your notice that whatever the things are there you know even if you don't like one thing or the other about others a friend but your way of sharing should be good you know you should not be serious all the time about the person you should not be all concerned about them but you can share and ask for the thing with some smile on your face even if you know you are angry you are feeling very much you know that they should not do that at all but the way of speaking are there available and you can please follow like valli here is angry no doubt she did not like at all that the conductor was speaking all the time in between even this way the girl spoke as if she spoke rudely but there was a, a smile or the laughter there and so the conductor didn't feel bad at all nor valli nor she uh, showed any that kind of anger on her face so you please learn these things it matters a lot it is always said have you know um, sugar on your tongue all the time and ice or snow you can say on your head what does it mean तोंडात जेबेवर साखर आणि डोक्यावर बर्फ ठेवून माणसाने वागावे व्हॉट डू अंडरस्टँड फ्रॉम दिस सर वी शुड नॉट बी एंग्री वी शुड नॉट बी एंग्री एट एव्हरी टाइम वी शुड बी स्वीट और पोलाइट ऑल टॉकिंग एंड कूल व्हाइल थिंकिंग और रिएक्टिंग वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एब्सोल्युटली यू हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आई वांटेड टू कन्वे टू यू बट वी शुड नेवर टू बी यू नो टू गुड आल्सो टू स्वीट आल्सो दैट एनीबॉडी कैन ईट यू अप एंड नॉट टू यू नो पंजिन और Who is joining so late? Good job. Welcome, dear. You should not do good also that anybody can, you know, take us for granted, and we should not be so bad also that nobody wants our company. Like we should not be like a sugar cane also, and nor like a bitter gourd, right? We should have all of these qualities. Like uh, in our culture, it is said, "Raj tam." and satva rajogun tamogin and satva gun have you heard about these three words yes sir they come under yes sir satva then raj means laziness and all and tam tam means so bad like but three of the qualities we must have we should also have an anger but we should know when to express that anger we should be happy but you know our happiness should not be our you know weak point or our anger should not be weak point all of these qualities should be there with us but they should always be our strong points right nobody should realize our weaknesses at any time even if your parents even if your teachers come to know your weak point they are there to ask you for that and people you know they just find the weaknesses of others but better we introspect and find our weakness and rectify them so this valli is really teaching us many good lessons that she is angry but her way of speaking is not with anger she is speaking curtly she is showing no doubt her displeasure but even she is not just shouting at and behaving like a child even if she is but trying to behave like an adult and so she is answering that way you see what happened then i had but the old woman went on with her driver and here that is silly nonsense that the old woman just go on and go on taking asking one or the other question uh previous sentence she laughed all the same and the conductor laughed too you know even if she showed her displeasure while she was speaking but it made the people not hurt you know we should be straight forward but our words should not you know harm anybody or uh, hurt anybody's feeling that care also should be taken so here is only really taking that care about the old woman or old woman is really getting much angry and there is a fight between them let's see is it proper for such a young person to travel alone do you know exactly where you are going in town 
what the state what is the house number dear students this lady if you see i am reading all of her sentences and what only is thinking of her is it matching somewhere please tell me i'll repeat again the sentences spoken by this old lady are you all alone here this is first sentence that they had said and she says is it proper for such a young person to travel alone do you know exactly where you are going in town what is the street what is the house number what do you think she is concerned and she is speaking in a better manner or she is getting angry and you know just ordering her like the old man she is concerned about him she is concerned about only and she is speaking yeah she is really concerned and you know she is not giving her any instruction like the first man the old man had done what did he simply do hey child sit down like that he had said but this old woman is speaking so well you know are you all alone there first name boy then she did not say child should not travel all alone she simply said is it proper for such young person to travel alone do you know exactly where you are going in town so did she do well or not your students with valli did well but valli here misunderstood her and there she says just because of her one bad habit and what was it chewing the betel nut and she just judged that lady with that habit only so we should also not hurry dear students to judge the person with their own uh, with their only bad quality even we see that people around us nobody is perfect as you know they have some good qualities and some bad qualities it is a mixture of the personality and the attributes but everybody is unique and genius i think last time i had shared with you one story about uh, lord krishna that he was just passing nearby and came across on the way the dog died some days ago and was completely you know lying on the ground not even few body parts were to the previous or former state size of it and there was the only tip that he could notice that how white they are and just did not say that how bad and how you know the dog is so bad you know what did he hear the smell no he did not complain but simply saw that you know the shiny teeth the dog had so that nature should be there not complaining attitude all the time anyway there are many things then what did valli say you need not bother about me i can take care of myself valli said turning her face towards the window and staring out was you can just see the old woman sitting here and this girl with the window and she is saying you need not bother about me i can take care myself and she turn towards the window again engage herself in looking outside and staring out the things happening understood dear students this part 1 and 2 can we yes. check your comprehension orally yes sir yes. the first question why does the conductor call valli madam any sir may sir may you can well uh, the conductor called valli madam um, because she behaved like a a woman and she also declined his help uh, that the conductor and also answered the questions of conductor very properly so he called her madam yes that is also there and uh, you know when is there any reference your students if you remember that one said her as a child and then she did not like yes it is there i am not a child and all so what saying right and just as a uh, child 8 years old she simply raised her hand and stopped the bus and she wanted to travel and that time you know the conductor was literally astonished surprised to see a single girl just 8 years old want to travel all alone by the bus and then he found that that's what something different that the girl was doing and so 
he called her as a madam and one more thing that she was so well prepared and proud of herself you know only that she did not own call her at all child right but neither she also liked if if the conductor was calling her as madam and one more thing about the attribute of the conductor that you know that was little joking of or that kind of words it is mentioned here students in the text do you remember yes sir yes sir very good so i'll repeat again well prepared and proud only got annoyed if someone called her a child or treated her like one on the other hand the bus conductor was of the joking sort and began addressing her madam as she was grown enough bought her ticket and could take care of herself right anybody wants to some wants to add to something to this answer yes anyone no can no, we move on to the next a yes why does one need stand up on the seat what does she see sir now yes dear anil prisha you want to say something sir so, wally stood yes, up sir. on the seat it was because she couldn't see outside her height was small and the bus curtain had uh, covered the lower part of the window okay over to you prisha uh when she uh, uh she saw uh, the bus was uh, going on the channel the road was very narrow and the side tree there was a channel and beyond the tree grass land and he saw when she got the bus here yeah, ayush has also mentioned his answer ayush mota over to you dear एल्डरली मैन So may I? Yes, dear Anil, you can. So Valli told the elderly man that there is no baby child in this uh, bus, and she had uh, paid the, uh, her fare of thirty paisa, and she had also bought a ticket. Yeah, and she is clever enough to look after herself, right? Very good. Number four. Why didn't Valli want to make friends with the elderly woman? As as we just see, that she did not want to be her friend. What was the reason? and she showed her that displeasure about it sir may because i he was he was yes dear shreya you wanted or khushi who was there sir i was here yes dear khushi valli found the woman absolutely repulsive because she had big holes in her ear and she wore ugly earrings and valli could smell the beetle nut the woman was chewing and could see the beetle juice threatening to spill over and uh, she found that the woman uh, uh, nobody could be sociable with that woman very good right so this is 11:45 dear students we will again continue our session at 1 pm is it enough for this session dear students Yes sir. All right. Yes, Thank yes. you so much. Yes sir. Take care. Bye. Thank you sir. 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 Thank you s